Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here by the SDNY Courthouse today, Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. Now, we're doing it for a different location, and I'm going to explain those walkways in a moment. But on the Trump docket, Trump has filed his appeal with the First Department um, Appellate Division of the Engeron, the 400, more than $400 million judgment saying that it was ridiculous, that it was the statute of limitations, that this would empower Letitia James to go after anyone at any time. We'll see how that appeal plays out. On the Menendez front, yes, the Senate Ethics Committee, slow but sure, Select Committee on Ethics, has begun the process to recommend his expulsion, it appears. So uh, he's been put on notice. He hasn't gone quietly. And you can find the book Gold Bar Bob is Guilty on Amazon. You can also find uh, Miles Guo, Fox Hunt, Quid Pro Guo. Um, now, we're turning our, our, we're covering the Manoff trial. This is a guy charged with trying to, to import to the United States 500 kilograms of heroin for the benefit of the Taliban and the Haqqani network. Uh, it's a huge trial. He was assigned like a big high-powered law firm uh, to represent him. So it's, uh, the, all bets are off. We wrote the first story yesterday and it's going to be a, it moves fast. Judge Rakoff moves pretty quick. Um, also, Sumi Terry, uh, she's the uh, charged with FARA violations uh, for, for South Korea, out of the South Korean mission to the UN, by the way. Um, we'll get back to the UN in a moment. But uh, yesterday, it was, it was, they filed a notice that they're going to use FISA information. So we've written that story, and we're on the case. Now, the reason I'm doing it here is, look behind me. The, MDC j the MCC jail is now closed, but they have two walkways there. One walkway is to lead from the uh, Forty Foley Courthouse to the jail, and the other one led to the prosecutor's office right here behind me. Now, what they would sometimes do when somebody was cooperating is they would bring them through the first, the first walkway, um, as if they were being taken to a court proceeding. But in fact, as soon as they reached the third floor, they would turn around and take the other walkway into the prosecutor's office uh, to cooperate. Now, people were always trying to figure out who was going where and if, in fact, a person taken for a court appearance had no court appearance. Were there fake court appearances made to protect cooperators? Anyway, both buildings are now empty. One is getting repaired in the MCC. Nobody knows what's up with it. Nobody knows what's up with the UN because they keep the press out so they can continue to lie and sleaze. No one knows where the Secretary General is. He disappeared for days on end, nothing on his schedule, not even calling it annual leave, absolutely nothing. The place is corrupt. We've applied to re-enter to ask questions. We were there uh, uh, covering it daily as we now cover the courts. But now we just want to go in, say, one day a week to ask, where is Antonio Guterres and whose money is he taking? We've had Quinn Emanuel and Dwayne Morris both pro bono right to the Melissa Fleming. That, remember that name. This is a woman who's taken untold hundreds of thousands of dollars without doing her job. We will not cease. Inner City Press, to be continued.